Front Panel Designer has an extensive library of commonly used elements that can be easily placed onto your panel by clicking and dragging them from the macro library to your panel. However, Front Panel Designer also allows you to create your own library of your commonly used macro objects or groups of objects. Macro objects are created by grouping two or more objects together. The objects can be interlaced, creating one non-standard shaped cutout, or it can be a group of objects creating a pattern or template. In this tutorial, we will begin by creating and saving a macro element made up of multiple adjoining objects to create one cutout. Then, we will go on to create a series of objects to use as a template on different panel orders. I begin by making a rectangular hole for the center of my cutout. Then, I create the two D holes at each end of the rectangle. To make it easier, I create one D hole, positioning it at one end of the rectangle. Then I copy and paste the D hole and reposition a copy at the other end of the rectangle. I have now created all of the holes for my macro object. Since they are all in one area, I can select all the objects by choosing the Select tool, either at the top of the screen or by pressing the space bar. Then I draw a box around the three holes using my mouse. With all the objects selected, I right-click on them and choose Grouping from the menu. I can also choose Grouping from the Selection menu on the toolbar. Now this group of objects will act as one single object. Now that I've created my grouped object, I want to save it as a macro object so that I may use it again on future panels. To do this, first I will create a new folder in the macro library to hold all of the macro objects that I make. Next, I right-click on the grouped object and select Create Macro Object from the menu. A new window will appear. From the Category drop-down menu, I find and select the folder that I just created. Next, I type the name of this macro object into the Name field. When I hit OK, my new macro object appears in the macro library to the right. I can now use it on future panels without having to create all the objects individually. Next, looking at my completed panel, there are several objects that are standard on many of the panels that I create. Rather than creating the same setup every time I create a new panel, I am going to create a template that includes these standard objects to be used on my future panels. To do this, I select all the objects that I would like to include in my template. For this template, I have D holes in all four corners of my panel that I want included. But there are objects in the middle of the panel that I do not want in my template. Therefore, I must select each object individually. I click on the first object with my mouse, then hold down the control key while selecting the rest. Once I have all the objects selected, I right click and select the grouping option. This joins all of the objects together so they now act as one object. With my group of objects still selected, I go to the selection menu on the toolbar and choose the Create Macro Object from the menu. I find the folder that I made earlier in the drop down box next to Category. Finally, I type in the name of this template in the Name field. When I hit OK, the object appears in the macro library to the right. I'm now able to apply this same set or pattern of holes and objects to my future panels in one easy step.